Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet with our toys. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're talking about the number one sign your posture is bad and mm. how to fix it. Sure. Hopefully how to fix it. Uh, and by the way, today we're going to give away a booyah stick this week, I should say. Yes. They're quite handy, actually. Yes. We use them for posture. We use them for shoulders. We use them for lifting mechanics. We're not going to show you today how to use it, though. No. But uh, you go to BobBrad.com, go to the giveaway section, mm -hmm. and you can sign up there. Also on Facebook, you can sign up. And don't forget our, our podcast. That's our right, podcast. where you can listen to conversation from more than just us. So let's go right into it, Brad. Num the number one sign your posture is bad. What you're going to do is you're going to either need – uh, someone, a partner, mm -hmm. to take a look at you, sure, or to take a picture. I would uh, would prefer, actually. Well, maybe if you had like a selfie sticker, you could do a little oh, yeah. video on yourself you from like the this. side. Right, there you go. Right. Yeah, that'd so, be pretty good. So what we're gonna do is, Brad, if you want to face to should the I side, should I grab a chair? Yeah, why don't yeah. you grab his chair? Yeah. That would be a good. All idea. right. So you wanna? Shall I face this way? No. No. Face the other way. Oh yes. Yeah. Say no more. I thought we went over this there and I wasn't are. listening. <laughs> So what we're looking for is the first thing is the position of the ears. So the ears, if they're correct, are going to be right lined up with the shoulder. But you can see his ears are a little bit ahead of the shoulder. So go ahead and correct it once, Brad. So now the ears are lined up with the shoulder. So if his ears are forward, we Head need forward. correction. Right. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I want you to film this. This we can't do with a selfie, Brad, uh, selfie stick. I want you to film actually extending back, and we're looking at this spot right here. Uh, some people, th this spot is really rounded out, and when you go back, it doesn't move at all. That right. means it's fixated. It's tightened up on you. If you go back, uh, Brad goes back, it goes back to at least neutral, if not even reverse a little bit. So, Brad, you're okay. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's showing there's some movement in those vertebra, right. upper thoracic vertebra, just below the neck, which is critical. Right. And if often you're going to get pain in that area mm -hmm. if there's no movement. Yep. And it, it's really difficult to stretch that area out. There's really tough ligaments that hold in place, made out of collagen. And so what you need is a fulcrum. Yeah. So some leverage. Right. Right. Yeah, because this can lead into that. I hunch or that hunchback right, posture. Right. And once it, if you're in that way enough years, it's it's very it's difficult. It's probably uh, un unreversible at right. that point, irreversible. We, we're doing time. an experiment now with one of our therapists. That's so, right. And, and she's, she's been working on she this. She thought she made some gains already. So what you're going to do is you, um, you can start off with a tennis ball just to see if this helps at all. Yep, it, it'll offer some of the... And the best way, because this is going to be too much for some people, mm -hmm. is is actually put a towel over the top yeah. of it to blunt the force a little bit. Please note, we're doing it on a cushion, plinth, right. or table. This should be done on a floor. A carpeted floor is ideal. So, Brad, if you don't mind stepping over here again. Oh, Where yes. we're trying to actually hit the spots are right... Oh, Okay, if he's rounded all up in this area, that's the area we want to work on. So you don't want to hit the shoulder blades, and you don't want to hit the spine. So you're right between the two, and you can hit this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot. Mm -hmm. So six spots. And you, you only got to lie on this thing for like 30 seconds. Right. You can go a minute if you want. Yeah, if you tolerate it. When you start out, it can be a little uncomfortable, but oftentimes, like we did it yesterday with someone who never did it before, she said, it hurts, but it kind of hurts so good, like it felt like it was Right, helping. but then again, she was on the mat. <laughs> right, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So anyway, we put it in place. Here, we'll we'll try, we'll start with a towel over the top. Also, to help blunt it will be, be the use of pillows. Yep. So if you're really bad, have really bad posture, you may want to actually start off with three pillows like this, and now I, it's taking some of the pressure off, and the towel took some of the pressure off. Eventually, over time, you start taking pillows out of the, out of the wow. way, and that puts more pressure on it. Take them all the way, get down to the point where you're flat, 
and then you actually take the towel out. So we're doing this. This may this progression may take weeks. Right, right. And then the final thing, you actually take your arms and Ooh. put the fingers behind your neck yep. and stretch back like this. And again, on those six locations, so you'll do 30 seconds or so on each location. Right. It'll, it'll take you a couple minutes. Now, if you want to, if, if that seems to work for you, mm. you may want to take the step up and actually get a back pod. This is specifically designed by a therapist for this, and uh, it is a little more aggressive for sure, but it's more effective. And what I want to say right away is it comes with a booklet, a really detailed booklet yeah. that has like 30-some pages. You show it to them? Right there. I don't see the book. I see the box. Yeah, just use this one. Oh, we did find it. Yeah. So it comes with a book, <laughs> and it's got 32 pages. You don't have to read all 32. But, uh, no, but it <laughs> actually will explain really in great detail yeah. where to use it, how to use it. Different know, body using parts. The pillows, mm. and right, right. So it's, it's really uh, comp quite comp comprehensive. There you go. It's a little expensive, a little pricey, yeah. but um, if you find the tennis ball works, I would I would maybe put the price uh, or put the cost well, buy right. one. Yeah, if you <laughs> use it, it's gonna it's gonna pay for itself. It's right. It's gonna help your posture, your breathing, your shoulders, everything. Right. So if you want to correct that posture, that's are you gonna lay down on it? Well, I can. Yeah, give sure. it a yeah. Show the real thing. Oh, this one, yeah, this is more intense. I do this every morning. Yep. My wife does it. She really misses it if she can't. So. Well, just give her oh, one. Oh, that Bob. feels good. I did. Oh, you did. Okay. And finally. <laughs> You made her suffer, you know, hide yours, I suppose. And, uh, she didn't have to over. say too much to me. So, <laughs> All right. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for? A broken arm. And we don't think the back pod is going to help with that. But you could give it a go. Sure. That's what they what say. Do do? Give it a go. I think they say that down there in Australia. In those. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. Instead of give yeah. it a try. It's give it a try. Give it a go. I think they do in England, too. 